Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are doing a different video. We realized we have been doing Ramadan daily vlogs every day on Ramadan month. Then we realized and said some of our subscribers are not Muslim. And we have been doing these videos, so we wanted to take the time and take you along today. Those who are non-Muslims and Muslims, come along today. Today is Friday. Friday is a special day for us Muslims, so we will take you to the community our Juma day, and my husband is doing the Qutbah, so I'll take you along that too. And on the way, in this video, I will explain a little bit about what Ramadan is, what we are doing, what kind of foods we eat, and so on. So, welcome. My day starts shortly after 4 a.m. I am making something called the Sahur. Sahur, basically the simplest way I can explain to a non-Muslim is that making breakfast and eating, as you can see, it's a little bit after 4 a.m. These eggs are full of protein and nourishing to our body. And I'm doing some homemade gonorola. The eggs are from our organic chickens, free range. And eggs are so filling and easy to digest for our family. Honestly, it's also a cheap way to feed a large family too. And easy to cook when it's 4 a.m. Few days ago, I made some homemade waffles. So I'm just going to toast to that. And as Muslims, we also love to eat nut butters like peanut butter cashew butter sunflower seed butter anything that god provides for us because they are so full of nutrition and filling and full of protein and my family when we want to do something sweet we my husband is a beekeeper so we use honey and honey prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi loved honey and honey is healing and full of nutrition as well. So that's what I'm serving today for breakfast. Cashew, homemade cashew milk also. And when we serve on Ramadan with fruits, we use low glycemic fruits. So our blood sugars don't just go high and low and so on. So strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Also, we make Ramadan time chia seed pudding. As you can see with drizzle of cinnamon. Cinnamon is good for the blood sugar as well. And I have on the side our iron tablets, our fish oil, our vitamin D. And those are things that my family uses. So I'm bringing the breakfast together. While my husband gets everybody up, everybody will brush their teeth and do wudu. Wudu is where we wash our body before prayer. As Muslims, we pray five times of the day and more. Also, as Muslims, we eat lots of dates and Ramadan time. And dates are full of energy and also easy to go to the bathroom because we don't like to be constipated since Ramadan time we will not be eating or drinking throughout the day while the sun when the sun rises and sun goes down we stop eating when the sun rises and drinking also and then we break our fast when the sun goes down and we can eat and drink again so right now I have my eating sheet down the food Everybody is here and we are having our family together time too. It might be early, early morning, but this really brings the family together. Such a blessing too. Ramadan is the month that the Quran came down to. So I'll explain that later throughout the video. 
So now if I'm just serving everybody our iron tablets, our fish oil, and things like that. And everybody is enjoying and taking our time. We will clean after ourselves right away. Cleaning is very important for us Muslims. My husband is putting the clean dish away and the dirty dishes into the dishwasher. And he will do the adhan for our first prayer of the day. And then we will pray together. our wudu cleaned up and praying together as a family the family who prays together it stays together and shortly after prayer we go ahead and do supplications and ask God to bless us and to continue to forgive us we do so many supplications and then we go ahead and do our daily routine as you can see the Sun is coming in alhamdulillah so this is where i explain what is ramadan ramadan is the month of fasting reading quran extra prayers extra charity giving where god also we do extra supplications where god forgives our past too and our sins also one thing we love about ramadan is the Quran was revealed on the month of Ramadan too. So now we are outside. Ismail will help to uh, free range the chickens. So the Quran was revealed the month of Ramadan. That's why it's a special month for us Muslims. And we fast from sunrise to sunset. And we stay away from sexual activities with our husbands, our wives and also a filthy talks too, which we really, really need to practice throughout the year. So I brought all my leftovers for the dogs, for the chickens, and it's time to do our daily routine now.
while I have, I'm getting the children ready for Juma Friday prayer. My husband is helping the kitchen. He will make sourdough buns. That's what we want to do for tonight. So he's going to put einkorn, flour, sourdough, mini buns we will make it for later. And then I'll have the children get ready for Juma prayer. And my husband is doing the khutba, so I'll take a little clip on that. Also, we want to have soup. Soups are so important in Ramadan for warming the body. And he's going to soak that. And let that sit on the side. So we just arrived home now and our daughter is putting together some deer burgers and making the patties ready and I will go ahead and put together some of the soup. I'll be using my instant pot that makes it so much easier for us to be able to do our third prayer. We prayed Fajr at home, the morning prayer. We went to the mosque and prayed. That's our second prayer, door. And the third prayer, that's what we will do right after putting the soup together. And my soup, I'm using it for homemade bone broth. Lots of cilantro. Cilantro tastes so good, but it removes the heavy metals as well. And as Muslims, we also use our lentil soup with quinoa or rice or barley. Barley, it's delicious and so nourishing and healing to the body. That's what our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught us. There goes the bone broth. And that is really, it's so simple. Then I will put the bread together as muslims we are taught to clean our houses clean house also clean mind clean heart clean soul is very very important and gets us close to our one god that created you and i a special food that we do in ramadan is somali sambusa and i'm having that set on the side and my son will help me put the buns together. So he's just going to go ahead and oil, coconut oil and the uh, pans for the mini buns. So we will put together the buns. And this is a good way having the children to uh, join us and help. So right after this, we will do our Asr third prayer, vacuum the room and time to read the Quran to so I'll let the buns rise. Sambusas will sit and unthaw and get ready for a prayer. So right now, some of the children and myself and my husband, we gather together right after Asr prayer and we take turns. Everybody will read the Quran a few pages and it's our goal to read the Quran. The Quran is very special to us. And also one thing I personally love about the Quran, it never was changed or rewarded. Right now, the sun is down and the children put together some dates and cucumbers are so 
energizing and so hydrating. If you never had a date and cucumber, I recommend it. Our Prophet loved that and we do too. There's a wisdom to that, hikmah to that. We have, we're having green smoothie. We're having some water with rose petals. And we will pray our fourth prayer and break our fast when the sun goes down like right now. Shortly after we break our fast, we will do our fourth prayer, which is called Maqrib. Let's do that. And after that, we will eat our big meal, inshallah. So now the family is all coming together and getting ready to pray. So now the family is together. We will have our mini buns with burgers and salad and so on and soup also. We will clean up, go to the masjid, my husband will call the Adhan. We will do our fifth prayer, that is Isha, to end the night, and also Taraweeh. That's how we end the night with a long prayer. And thank you for joining us again and give the videos thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so and share the videos with your family and friends. And I will see you next video. And please leave a beautiful comment down and see you next time. Salam alaikum.